So I'm gonna demonstrate. Actually, not demonstrate. I'm gonna teach you how to get how to install mods to your Arma 3 on Mac. Now, as you can see, Mac is a uh, pain in the ass to um, install games. Some games, mostly. I'm sick of this, but. As you may notice, Armor 3 is one of those tedious games where you have to install things, such as mods and scenarios. So I'm going to try to do that. So of course here, I have animated recoil coefficient char changer, and I've installed it. Now this is really important, you want to install. Okay, and go to the library. Now what you want to do is go to Finder. Now you want to find Workshop. You search up workshop in your finder and it should say and should should contain these four items. In a separate tab, what you want to do is have Arma 3. And I'll show you why you need these two tabs. So what you need to do is you need to go to content and press on 107410. And then it should display all of the workshops that you've installed now if you're trying to find out which is which basically you just go into uh, uh, this for example and it should it should display the names of it or the names of uh, the thing already within it you'll eventually find it uh, and I'm trying to look for recoil and I basically found it animated recoil coefficient changer it's this way right there now what you need to do is that you copy which is all the way down over here and over here and then paste the item now what that does is that it puts the files into Arma 3 but in order to make that work you need to rename it now when you rename something you need to put an at you need to put an at after you've done that then you rename it to whatever I'm gonna put name it ARCC and I highly recommend highlighting it because if you want to delete a mod trying to find out which is which please do so once that's done remember the name remember it's all caps or low caps go back to here right click arma go to properties at very at the very first in general go all the way down to advanced to make user change to enter modification to the launch options and then you need to put dash mod equals and then you could finally type in your mod name and then you should be good to go but if you're trying to apply a plethora of different mods what you need to do is put this sem semicolon between them that way it's kind of like a space or you know separate things once that's done I will play and we will shall test it out and see if it works Sorry, it's going to take a little bit of a while. I'm not going to edit this out because it's just to prove my point that it actually works. Because there's very few information that how to install these games. And I managed to find one the information.
place. Yeah, this is gonna make the video longer, but it's just to prove my point. It's whatever. <laughs> So the next part, I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate um what's really important to find once you log into the game. So of course Mac does not have the launcher, which makes things easy, but they don't. It's unfortunate, but Humia does not do that, and that's a problem. Now my screen is gonna be different than yours because I have the Vietnam Perry Fire. DLC, so but it's still the same concept. I can't demonstrate it because whatever. Dude. I'll show you guys. Bottom left, there should be the DLCs that you want, but it should also display what icons there is of the mods. So I'm gonna go to tutorial, virtual arsenal, see if it actually worked. If it doesn't work, then that probably means that you have to, um, you have to. Uh, Oh yeah, it worked. It worked. Holy crap. Yep, so the recall definitely changed and it does work. So, I highly recommend you trying this out in the virtual arsenal before you even play like single player. Because it's way faster, obviously. But, now I've shown that, it's all done. So, if you are trying to do this in, um, put in uh, DLCs you're gonna have to go to a website find pretty sure like for example what I did for the Vietnam DLC you have to input the name for this which is Vietnam if you have a different DLC then you're gonna have to put it inside something else but it won't require the axe at all so you should be fine but you can obviously obviously find it right here if you're trying to find the name for it. So yeah. <laughs> 